Sometimes I might seem unconventional. Sometimes I try to avoid the usual. But people try to tell me how to live. I try to live my own life my own way. Let me live my life. Oh, let me live my life. Let me live my life. Officially, we've been on the road for almost three weeks, and it's only now that I'm really beginning to settle into Mozambique. In fact, I'm beginning to feel like a local, which is cool. We've got about a 350 kilometer journey to do today, and uh, the roads are such in Mozambique that they can take up to nine hours. It's quite cool though, going to a place called Vilanculos and staying at a place called Aguia Negra. Never been there, don't know what to expect. So I guess today is one of those days where the journey is the destination. We're uh, trying to buy something to eat in a really small town. So far all we've managed to find is pao, which is the local bread. I'm even considering buying a fresh chicken. You know, when I was planning this trip, it became quite impractical to buy all our food in South Africa and carry it all the way through Mozambique. So I decided to just take the basics to save space. What that means though, is that I have to buy everything locally. And that's quite challenging. This is a gourmet cooking show. We're having peanut butter and butter pao sandwiches. Welcome. Thank you so much for having us. Pleasure. We're walking up to Bay of Villancolos and in the distance you can see Bazaruta Island. Really beginning to feel like we're in the tropics. Am I going the right way? We'll get lost again. Hello. Mm. Hello. 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 to see your smiling face again. I had Agia Negra last night in Villanculos and the uh, first thing we do is head off to the bar, a couple of drinks and I meet Jean, the general manager, get chatting and he says to me, Justin, do you know anything that you can cook with lula heads? I said, I think I've got an idea for one. He says, well, uh, can you show me? I said, with the greatest of pleasure. He says, no, not me, Bernardo, who's the head chef here. So I'm going to go and grab him from the kitchen and show you how to make an interesting baked, braised lula head. The world, meet Bernardo, the head chef of Aguilla Negra. Now what we've got here are some lula tentacles. We've cut the head off and pulled out the beak and then just sort of patted them dry. This is a very easy way, hey, Bernardo, I'm going to show you now. The first thing we have to do is take pull bed bread trays, chuck it in like this. Right, and push it down tight like that banana. And we've got a little bit of oregano, take like so much. Couldn't find fresh parsley in the market this morning, so Jean kindly donated us some dried parsley. Garlic, one clove each. I'm gonna put two in there, I think. Zest of a lemon in each. What I... Uh, realized when I arrived here last night is that when you're on holiday you use the place you're staying as a bouncing board to go to a whole whack of other places. I mean tomorrow we're doing a, a dow trip out to one of the islands with a bit of snorkeling. Apparently the snorkeling here is amazing. Fishing too. I'm going to send Gareth and Wolf see if they can maybe catch a couple of fish. But your days are just like jam-packed. pepper and last but not least a whole whack of olive oil and it would be about half a cup 
good. And then you're going to take a piece of this baking paper, Bernardo, and just push it down gently. And then that's that. These are going to get whacked into an oven, preheated to about 175 degrees for an hour. Then we're going to go back into the oven, just turn this around a bit, bake it for anywhere between half an hour to an hour longer, keep tasting it just to make sure they're cooked. And then that's your baked lula legs. I'm going to make a little bit of something else to go with this just now, but that's another story. I'm going down to the beach for a swim, and these just have to go into the oven. So if you want to come along, Bernardo, this is the first step, eh? Just now I'll show you again another part. Cool. I like the fact that my kitchen has a beach and an ocean just meters away from the oven. Bernardo, we just want to roast these tomatoes yeah. to make them nice and sweet. So, just going to chop them in half. You can help me. Nice knife, eh? Trick with roasting tomatoes is going to bring out all that nice, sweet caramelized taste. I'm just going to chuck on some salt and some pepper, olive oil, and lastly, cover up in tin foil. And then Bernardo, if you don't mind, you can just start cleaning those off for me. Want them in slices and just peel it off for me like that. One out the way, next one on the go. A little bit of salt, olive oil. Oops. I hope this little breeze doesn't come up and ruin my afternoon's entertainment. I think I'm planning for everyone to come into Veloncoulos and do a little bit of exploring, cook style. I'm going to whack these in the same oven that the Lula legs are in for like an hour. I'm going to go for another swim and I'll see you like in an hour. We had to wake them down. is to mash it all through. Just want juice. What we're going to do with this is reduce it down to about half of its sauce. And that's it. Just now, almost ready to serve, eh? Ah. Look at that. Obrigado. Yes. Normally, Cooks are the first to taste and the last to eat. So today, Bernardo and I are the first to taste and the first to eat. It really just remains for us to dish up your reduced tomato. That's that. A little bit of time left over in the afternoon to go exploring. You don't have to hide away, John. <laughs> A little bit of time left to go and exploring in Villanculos. And the next time you see us, we'll be on a dhow, sailing to one of the islands for a bit of snorkeling. Bernardo might be in the kitchen there. Tonight. The plan for tonight is we're going for a ride in a pumped mobile. We've told everyone we're doing sightseeing in Villanculos, so we're not doing sightseeing. Well, we are doing sightseeing, but we're doing sightseeing. We're going to do the local golf tour. How golf works, by the way. Two short shots is an eagle. A short shot and a bear is birdie. A bear is par and a Coca-Cola, lemonade, anything like that, that's a bogey. Playing nine holes. I can't do nine holes. Did you get the rules?
Long game. Come on. Check, 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 check. Pimp my rod, check this out. Oh, you know who this <laughs> Check Sean's car out. Eh? The only pimp ride in Villanculos. We're in it. And we're going to cruise around. I think the first stop off is a bar called Smugglers. <laughs> One hole done. I'm the official scorekeeper as well. I'm quite a trustworthy young man. <laughs> If you drink um, three shots, you yeah. get an albatross. If you drink two shots, you get a birdie. I had two, eh? You, no, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Oh, oh. But I'm scoring. <laughs> Sorry, not cool. <laughs> he also bought his driver's license in Mozambique, as well as the car for 2000. Okay, the battery is disconnected. <laughs> we have our own mechanic, though. You need your hand. No, no, it's fine. Let's go. You need your hand. No, we're fine. We just needed to get the battery going. Klim camera off. Go now. Have we got fish? Tropical. You can survive this. I blind your third eye if you look into my iris. Smacking cats is what I specialize in. Scott or lyricist. These phony corny raps, I'm sick of it. Rap shoot out, no doubt. Captain Trump, I rock spots off the top. Here to slot, a lyrical architect. Ramen bazooka. I shave your beard with a lot. We had Baobab. Only the third hole. Baobab Beach. I didn't put the beach, but that's where we are. And we're drinking Ramazotti Black. Whatever that is. I'm sick of the culture. Hello? It is now dark. Every time I look into that light, I can't see where I'm going. We're going to some local spot. At the moment, Sunel is in the lead. Not for very much longer. Of advice always have a local guide that way you get to see the complete cross-section of life and nightlife anywhere you go welcome to Juan flight number 1015 we are back at smugglers for hole number five Coming in the pimp mobile. Whoa! Oh my glasses, wait! Okay, we can definitely fit everyone in. Come, John. I can't, I can't see the front of the car. One, two, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, seventeen people. Did we break the Guinness Book of Records? Five, four, three, two, one. Go! 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 Okay, it's the last bar. Casa bitch. I mean Casa Juan. And Juan. Casa I don't it. Winner. I wonder what that tastes like, eh? When I met Juan he said no, I've got to go home and feed the kids. He wasn't kidding. Messi, wait. Push, 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 and then put the bottle there. 
Oh really? Hey, really? No, he is. Can I show you quick? No, please do. I'm okay. feeling like I'm being a bad parent here. Okay. Is that the whole trick? <laughs> 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 I never knew a goat's tail and a wagging tail, eh? Put that out, mock up. Here we go. Check this out, check this out. In Mozambique, oh, I think I'm gonna look. So, 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 a platform shot. So, now, check this out. Broad me down, speak with me. Hello, what's your name? Sassy. Sassa. 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 <laughs> so now you you did quite well. Where am I in the lead? You in the lead by far or not yet? You suck, Joan. You're second to last. It is a magnificent day in so I'm doing my David Attenborough imitation. Behind me, in a short while, two boats are going to arrive and take us to Marguerite Island where we're going to spend a lazy day snorkeling, eating on a dhow. It's going to be a brilliant day. Sleep tight tonight. Wow, hey, look at this. The Bezaruta Archipelago, to which Marguerite Island belongs, is a national park and covers 1,400 kilometers squared, making it one of the largest marine parks in Africa. If you travel to Mozambique, make sure this is one of your stop offs because you'd be mad to miss this. So, this is a um, a traditional way of cooking on a boat. Jerry's going to be our chef today. Apparently he's the best dao chef that you get. And we're going to taste his food later on. If you check down here, there's a box of sand in the dao. And then they can make a fire in the boat without setting it all on fire and sinking. This has been done this way since the Arabs came cruising up this coast, enslaving people and trading for spice. The only good thing they left behind was the dao's, because that's what the local people use get around and go fishing. So we're going to check out Jerry making us lunch and we're going to jump in the water and snorkel from that point in the far distance all the way along the reef right down to that point down there and I think that that will blow your mind. Whoa. <laughs> cool, that's a nice little opening link. For lunch today, we're having a traditional lula, calamari, oh, so good. Like a fish stew, out, like. <laughs> cooked by Jerry. Well, I think just hope you're watching closely, because some of it might get lost in the translation. The what they've just done is cut so it into it chunks, in. Yeah. cut it into squares like that. Yeah. Then what and else then do you add? Just uh, clean it, put in the bowl. In the bowls, just put the cooking oil and lemons. Go and vinegar, then just push together. Leave it to marinate. Uh, yeah. And then we're gonna barbecue it, fry it just now. Uh, yeah. That's that. That's the cooking instruction for today. If it's not good, I'll have to throw you overboard. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jerry, tell us what's going on in this one here. Oh, uh, this is calamari. Lula. Uh, lula. Peter. Uh, Onions and the garlic, tomato, yeah. curry powder, cooking oil also. And that's it. Yeah. Simple meal. Yeah. Uh, Lula stew, like. tomatoes, green Jumbi. peppers, onions, a little bit Jumbi. of garlic, Jumbi. curry powder. Mm. And that's the simplest meal you've ever seen cooked on cooked. I'm going snorkeling. I'll leave you here to check out how this all happens and I'll see you a bit later. Have fun. Milk and honey, honey. Honey, 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 baby, yeah. Cause we're like children, you and I, 
afraid of the dark We're like children So please don't you do us no Oh, because you know, no Doesn't help to share some of us It just might help to share some of us It always helps to share our nightmares What a life we live. You would think we were sailing across an ocean. We're standing on a shore. There are fish swimming around us. We are going to eat fish and lula for lunch. I think we have the life. Pretty baby, come and play with me We could pick fruit from a happy tree Pretty baby, won't you stay with me Tomorrow morning and eternity And now you're here, you chase my blues away And ain't it clear, honey, you make me say Pretty baby, won't you stay a while? With you around, it's such an easy spot. One more swim, eh? And then back to Villanculos. Now you're here, you chase my booze away. And ain't it fear, honey, you make my day. I don't know if we're being a bit optimistic, but uh, that's Gareth and Andrew coming along. If we're lucky, they've got a fish, we've got a smoker, and by the time we hit shore, we could be having freshly caught fish with lemon juice. That's that. Two ingredients. I think we might be able to shut Justin up this time. Well, we've been like kind of, you know, actually been making jokes that this is more a chat show than a fishing show. But today we've got the proofs in the pudding. Job fish fillet. Job fish fillet. You can have the small one. The small one's good, quick. I've got everything ready on the boat. Are you doing it now? Right now. All right, let's do it. When I cook it, come pull in a bit closer. Give me a lack of fillet. How's that, eh? Fish on the fly. Couldn't get fresher. My day couldn't get better. Hello, Justin. <coughs> so you're actually just getting a little one of these. A little. I'll swap your fillets for cold beers, how's that? Sake is not. Can I only offer you coffee or tea, eh? For you? Can I one off now? What's that? In five? Two, two kuta. Uh, we've traded a fish for some coffee. I think we've been done it on this trade a bit. But we have more than enough fish to share with our friends. Obrigado. Share this with me. Cheers. Ching. Enjoy the fish. Enjoy the fish that Justin didn't catch. Fair trade. Chuck, chuck, chuck. Yeah. Blonde Fine, on. we don't like manicure. It's bitter. <laughs> yes, there's a fresh fish. Smoke on the go by the time we get to shore. <laughs> we'll have. Perfectly smoked fish, joke fish, sawdust. This just has to go in. Whoops, sorry. Can I have a light to someone? God's giving you one. Okay. 
This is the two ingredient fish. Fish, sawdust. That's it. When we eat it, lemon juice. And hopefully, by the time we get to shore, this is perfectly cooked, probably like 20, 25 minutes. Now, if you don't have one of these fancy smokers well used like we do, all you have to do is take a baking tray about the same size, put a rock in each corner, put a grid on top of that, sprinkle down your sawdust, put your fish on top of the grid and close it up airtight with tin foil. Chuck it in an oven or straight onto some coals, leave it for 20-25 minutes and that's it. Same principle at a fraction of the cost. What an incredible day, and I don't know how many times I can say incredible, but that's what it is. Check out my fish. Eating time. Look at that. This one. I'm a little bit speechless. Today has to rate as one of the top 10 in my life, and that's saying a lot. And I really have one small favor to ask you. If you ever come to Villancolos, do what we did. Do it with respect, because one day, there's gonna be nothing left here. And in a sense, you and I, we're custodians of a very special place. Yeah, man, that's that. See you in Bazaruto tomorrow. <laughs>